uh, what do we have under the dock is the great white hunter. That creature is one of the most vicious creatures on earth. It can put its beak through a three inch clam, little neck clam, and it could put its beak right through your hand without even thinking about it. It will go right through your hand. It'd be like shoving a fillet knife through your hand. It wouldn't even feel the meat or the bones in your hand. And yet, it's one of the prettier creatures in the world. I think it's called a heron. I don't even know what kind of bird it is. I watch them every day for 40 years and I don't know the names of these creatures. But I know they're pretty. And let's get a close-up of its little beak. See that little face? That little beak would go right through your hand. That's right. It would go right through your hand. That's pretty much where he stays on my dock. Except he stays on this plank that goes from the dock to the center. Sometimes also in the morning he works this area down here where I leave the weeds for him to work. But in the afternoon he'll just hang out there and hopefully a little fish will go by because the fish stay underneath the dock. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the great white hunter and the ignorance of Michael Fazio not knowing the names of the birds that sit on his dock. Ha! And ladies and gentlemen, there it goes across the canal, back to where it knows it's going to get food on the top of that boat. Somebody's going to throw a piece of fish in that boat. And that bird's going to jump in the water and get it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That bird knows where its fish comes from. And this is Michael Fazio in a Largo. And this is the big house in a Largo. This house was built by the Medellin Drug Cartel. And one day when I go up onto the roof, I tell her the story proper. <laughs> Many a party in that house, ladies and gentlemen. In the 80s and the 90s, before I moved here, this house was the number one party spot in the, in the upper keys, ladies and gentlemen. And a good day to everybody.